Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. So a few weeks ago I shaved my face in a video for the first time uh, using a brand new face shaving device called the Finishing Touch Flawless. I really loved it. If you want to take a look at that video, I'll put the link to it right up here. It'll open a separate window so you can watch that one then come back to this one. But the reason I'm back talking about the Finishing Touch Flawless again is because so many of you had so many questions about shaving your face and if it makes your hair grow back thicker or coarser or darker. Also, if there were any sort of side effects the next day or the next few days as far as irritation, redness, burning with um, putting on skincare, if I had any ingrown hairs. People wanted to know how long it took my hair to grow back in. They wanted to know if I had stubble. They wanted to know if, you know, you could feel it and what it felt like. It ge just generated such a huge host of questions that I knew immediately I would be doing a follow-up on it. And so here I am one month later and what I did in the meantime is I went ahead and instead of using it every couple of weeks like I wanted to, I held off and I photographed my face every week to show you how the hair would grow back in. So to answer the main question, based on what I'm seeing on my face, the answer is no. Your hair does not grow back thicker or darker or coarser or like a man beard. I did some research into it just to see what it was about and that is 100% a myth. When you shave your face uh, you actually make a blunt end on the hair at the thickest part and so as it grows out it seems a little bit thicker, it seems a little bit coarser because of course it's short and it has a blunt end. And the, where, the way hair really naturally grows is that it has a tapered end and it's thinner at the end. Shaving it doesn't make it any thicker, it doesn't make it any coarser, it doesn't make it any darker. That's all programmed within the hair follicle and it's mainly controlled by hormones. So there are some conditions that you can get if your hormones are fluctuating or you have a, a hormone imbalance where you can actually grow um, darker hair, which you should definitely have looked at because there are different reasons for different hormone imbalances. But in general, if you're, if you don't have a hormone imbalance and you have always had peach fuzz, shaving it will not convert it into anything other than peach fuzz. There have actually been quite a few studies done on this, a couple in the 70s, one as far back as 1923. I'll put the links to the studies that I mentioned here today in the information box below the video. And then the other question that everyone wanted to know was how long did it take it to grow back? Between three and four weeks to completely grow back. Someone wanted to know if it felt like stubble when it was growing in. Uh, yes it will feel a little bit stubbly, but it's not like man stubble. It's still very, very fine hairs. I would say that it felt almost like velvet, but it doesn't feel like coarse or prickly or anything. You know, if you're making out with somebody, you're not going to give them like a you know, beard rash or anything. Um, so it's not like that at all. So no one noticed my facial hair growing in over the month that it grew in, just like on an everyday basis. Now that my hair is fully grown in, no one can see it unless I'm out in like super bright sunlight. But I did like how my makeup went on very, very smooth. I enjoyed the next couple of Foundation Fridays where um, the makeup just was so smooth. And when I did go out in the bright sunlight, I didn't see just peach fuzz all over my face. All I saw was smooth skin with makeup on it, which was very nice. The last question was, did I have any side effects going forward the next couple of days? And for me, I didn't have any. I didn't have any redness. I didn't have any irritation from this. Um, I put on my Retin-A the same night. I didn't have any irritation from that. I put on my vitamin C serum in the morning. No irritation from that. So all my skincare things that I put on the next day going forward was just fine. No problem. I personally didn't have any ingrown hairs. I didn't develop any acne from it. My skin stayed clear. This is a perfect solution for when I want to do it. It's comfortable to use. It's easy to use. It's completely painless. I don't run the risk of cutting myself. So let me bring in the photographs. In the first one on week one, you can see that it is still a fairly clean shave, but you can see that some of the hair follicles have started to generate new hair. But by the second week, you can see that like all the hair follicles are, are starting to grow in now, and you can see that there's much more peach fuzz there. Third week, which I don't have, looking in the mirror, I could 
see that at that point the hairs were longer and starting to have their natural bend and by fourth week which is this picture that you see they are completely grown in they have the tapered ends again and they're laying kind of flat against my face so I could just leave it like this I, I certainly wouldn't say that this is 100% a necessity for anyone to do but if your peach fuzz does bother you and you're looking for a nice quick easy painless solution for it I really thought that this was very effective I actually put it in that video in a head-to-head -head contest against another battery operated shaver this one blew this one out of the water and it gave me a really close nice shave it's basically like a men's rotary shaver except there's only one of them it's battery operated you turn it on it has a little headlight there and then you just go ahead and use it in small circular motions to shave your face and so I'm gonna be using this going forward so I think that answered all the questions that you guys have I just wanted to do the follow-up for you guys to um, you know take the pictures and assure myself and you as well that um, yeah your hair pretty much is not gonna grow in uh, like a man beard so that's it for the video for today everybody thanks so much for watching you know I always appreciate your time if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and so I will see you next time so take care everybody and have a great day. Bye-bye.